This is my intro song. It isn't very long. That's all. Go ahead. Go on, watch the video. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Welcome back to Barbecue Nails. I'm so happy to have all y'all back here. It's an honor, as always, to have you come back and watch my content. I want to say thank you to all my loyal followers. Thank you so much for coming back. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you consider subscribing and joining the Barry Q Nails family. So, today we are doing not a nail video, because as you can see here, we're doing an unboxing video. And the unboxing we are going to do is of, can you get this in the frame? The Young Nails Pro Acrylic Kit Core. So this is the entire box. So this is all the stuff that is in there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. So give me a second and we are gonna get into this unboxing. So since I know that today we're gonna be working with some acrylic, I just got you know, I'm gonna be doing some swatching. So I got a paper towel and a little dental bib just to prevent anything from leaking out. So this is the back of the box. And this tells you pretty much what you're gonna be getting. And you get a lot. All right, so we got two six ounce nail liquid or monomer. 45 gram core natural, 45 gram core clear, 45 gram core pink, 45 gram core white, 45 gram XXX white, yeah. Eight ounce of swipe, which um, I believe is their version of like a dehydrator. Um, they're including a cuticle oil uh, looks like we got some finish gel, which I'm guessing is like their top coat. We got their, oh, you know, I know this, their protein bond. Um, I got their brush on glue here. They've included some files. They included some tips, a brush, uh, looks like a manicure brush and an acrylic brush, a plastic eyedropper. I'm assuming to get the monomer in the glass dampen dish, which is the last one on the list. All right, so. I'll open her up. So, here we go. We got our two Young Nail Nail Liquids, six ounces each. Paper to throw away. All right, so we have an acrylic brush here. I believe they call this their artistic sculptor, I think, on their website. I believe it's a size eight from what I've researched. Um, so we have the nice rose oil. So this will condition and restore the cuticle. Oh, that's gorgeous. Very nice. And they include a dropper. So you can just take this lid off and put the dropper. Let me give this a bit of smell. Oh, she smells nice. That smells really beautiful. So I think we're definitely gonna be using that. have our Young Nails Swipe, eight ounces. So this says that it's specially formulated to cleanse, 
the nail plate and work as a pre-prep by both dehydrating and cleansing. So a dehydrator basically. Remove all the oils and dust and things. So this is an eight ounce bottle. Comes, you know, screwed on. And then it comes with a nice little pump. So you can pump and get that out of the bottle. Here's that cute little, let me the way. A cute little manicure brush. And y'all kind of put like a little YN or something on there. This is my manicure brush that I use. I like mine better. But it's okay. Very nice. If you don't have one, very good to clean off. All right. Looks like we got a bunch of Young Nails files and buffers. So we got a couple of regular thin files and some with cushion. That's fab. Always great to have some good files. Uh, we got two types of tips. So we have got natural and we've got clear. So just for sake of looking and being able to see it in the video, these is curved. Child, these are like the 90s now. Look at this. Whoa, for a comparison, hold on. I mean, I know this is a tip, but geez. Oh. Hold on, I got some email couture tips. I just want y'all to see the difference in the curve length. Like, my goodness. All right, well. Yeah, honey, that is curved. Okay, you know, we got some tips. Great to have. All right, looks like we, this is the dropper. Oops. So here's the dropper. So you would use this to get the monomer out of here. And I haven't seen the dampen dish yet. Give me one second, they have this in here. Pro Acrylic Core additional items. All right, so cool. The dampen dish is in here. So this is where your monomer will go. We've got the Young Nails Ultimate Finish Gel, High Gloss Gel Sealer in 10 ml. Oh, wow. Hold on, let me see if I can turn this out. Can y'all see? That looks like a builder gel almost. That is very thick. Evie, Young Nails got your top coat beat <laughs> from long hair pretty nails. As wow. All right, then we got the Young Nails Brush on Glue in half an ounce. Just to glue on your tips. Onto your natural nail. We've got the beautiful Young Nails Protein Bond or um, <coughs> Primer. This is non-acid, so this is basically the double-sided tape that will help adhere your enhancement to your natural nail. And we have one of the acrylics. This one is Core Natural. Let me just get all this out. Move all this out today. All right, 
And we got some nail forms. Nail forms are always great. I'm not huge into nail forms. I've not actually been very successful, but um, it's a practice thing. So I definitely would love to practice using paper forms to sculpt my nail as opposed to using tips or, you know, any other way. So we got those and, you know, they're decent size. So, you know, not that bad. It's pretty good length. All right, that's all the acrylics. All right, so we have five acrylics that we received in this kit. We received Core Natural, Core White, Core Clear, Core Pink, and Core XXX White. So give me one second, I'm just gonna open them because they are all individually tightly plastic wrapped. All right, so I'm back. I got these all unwrapped. So first things first, um, I already went ahead and did this before I turned on the camera to record. I should have shown it. Um, so this is the acrylic brush. It's a wooden handle, metal ferrule. Looks like it is uh, pinched to help give, you know, that flat look and it helps it get a nice round shape and brings it to a tip. So normally when you get acrylic brushes, they're always going to be very stiff and pointed and broad. Well, they're stiff. They're very stiff. They put talc in it basically to keep it in shape. So when you first get it, just go kind of go like this and you want to break out all that. So that's what I've done. And that's why you see it's looking a little fluffy. I do have, hold on. I did order another brush which is Greg's signature brush which is one of the owners of Young Nails. So I did order their brush separately because I heard that this brush was amazing. Uh, this one is a size 12 versus this one which is looks like a size 8 I think. But you see how it arrives. Normally, this is how it will arrive. Very pointed. Can't really move it like this one because it's full of talc and other items to keep it nice. So when you get it, I'm not sure if you can even pick this up. Let me see if I can get it on camera. You want to break it. So you see? You want to break it and you'll start seeing little fuzzies and little pieces of white flying out of it. And the reason why I do it this way with no acrylic brushes is because I find if you put an acrylic brush directly into monomer that has all that talc, I find that it actually contaminates that monomer that you're using. So. It might affect the application. Look, this is not proven science. I'm not a nail tech, pharmacy tech again, like I have said, if you don't remember. So, you know, I don't know the science necessarily behind it, but I do believe um, that's why. So, we have our colors here. Have the brush. Now we are gonna use our little dampen dish, it's so tiny. And we're gonna take some of our Young Nails nail liquid. I have used this monomer before. The smell is not terrible. So, hold on, because you can't put this up to your nose to smell it, you gotta do the chemical way, you gotta waft it. 
you know, smells like monomer. So there's two ways that you can fill up your monomer, okay? So you can do it with a lovely dropper like they have provided. There you go. And you can just pop that in there. Or Or you can take your brush. Now you're gonna put the edge of the bottle right on the ferrule, which is the metal part, and let it run down. And it will run down the actual brush and not spill down the bottle. I hope y'all were able to see that. So. And we're gonna get our brush in, press it down really good, really get in there. We wanna make sure that monomer gets into all those bristles in case there was any of that talc that I did not get out. Hopefully I got most of it. Get that out. And you see the brush gets back to a nice point. Very nice, right? So. All right. So let's bring everything here. So I've got my monomer, I've got my brush, I've got swatch sticks. Let's close this bottle of monomer so we're not inhaling more chemical than we need. And all right, so let's start with uh, give me one second actually, hold on. Okay, my back, so, my bad, so I'm back. So what I wanted to check was um, the core. So there are three types of kits with Young Nails. They have the Young Nails Speed Kit, and that one contains a type of acrylic powder that is formulated to work and dry faster. They also have the Young Nails Ultimate Kit, which also has a medium to fast setting speed and provides more colors than this one. And then this one is our core set. That is a medium setting acrylic powder. So, you know, based on my experience at least, medium is what I like. So this one is a medium setting and it gives you the basics to get you a beautiful set. So I just wanted to check that real quick cause I'm looking and I'm like, why does it say core for so many of these things? But you know, sometimes you gotta check. So I just wanted to double check that before we continued. So we're gonna do some little swatches. So this one is core pink. All right, here is or pink. Now we are going to submerge our brush, get any air bubbles out of your brush. I'm going to do a quick little light tap. I'm just going to bounce it. We got a nice little acrylic bead there. Oh, that goes on nice and smooth. Need a bigger bead. So I'm gonna try to submerge the brush totally and not take out any liquid. Tap, tap, tap. Got a nice big bead there, and we want to fill this in. Always want to wipe your brush after every swipe so you can kind of. 
make sure not to get any gunk in your brush because I hate that so much and I'm sure everybody does too. So this one is core pink. So let's just wipe that. At the end, I think I'll open all of them and keep so you can see what the difference is. So that was core pink. Let's do core natural. Okay. up a nice bead there place that inside okay natural this is a natural color even coverage I'm not the best at acrylic so I'm trying to make sure that you guys get a decent view of what the color looks like I don't want it to look any more like marbly at all so I really want to try and get a decent application for y'all all right so that was Core natural. Hold on, we don't have to go back to core pink because core pink looking a little. Core pink is looking a little Caucasian, so we need to add a little bit of more. And I want to fill up this wash stick the best I can. pink will be let that dry and we'll get back to that let's do core white all right all right I don't know if y'all can see that Looking good. And this acrylic is, I mean, like I said, I have, I have not a pro at acrylic. However, I have worked with a few different brands of powders, you know, for like little overlays and things like that, if I wanted to with my gel -X. But this is nice and f creamy gel. Mm. This is really nice. All right. So that is core white. Now let's do core XXX white. sure my brush is not dirty. Okay. I don't know, I, you know, I've, I've watched some videos from them, so I know, you know, you submerge your brush, you wanna tip the opposite side to get liquid off, and then you would go in with this side where all the liquid is left. This is 
wipe away. Yeah, she's super white, all right. <laughs> this look like I'm putting white out in here. I like to wait a second just for it to polymerize and get all nice and glossy. And then let's pop this in to the swatch. Slowly dragging and wipe, drag and wipe. So that is XXX White and Core. And the last one we have left is Clear. So this is gonna be a little hard to see probably, but we're gonna do our best and see what we can sew. can do here. Right. I want to try and just give a good contrast in terms of color and stuff. white, core white, core natural, and core pink. So you see really, let me let it zoom out a little bit, not much difference in terms of the color. I'm just kind of change the lighting. Does that help? No. All right, but y'all can see, like, not much different in terms of what the colors look like, especially when you go to natural, clear, and white. The powders look exactly the same to me. But, you know, the pink, you do have a little rosy tint. So, here is, can y'all see that? That's not a good way. So this is core pink. So you see behind with the white background, you can definitely see the pink. It is a little translucent, so it's not a solid complete coverage pink. And that dried pretty quick. You, I mean, this, we did this and you know, this is live time. So, so I got that. Core natural. So as you can see, it's not clear, but it does give a hue. Do you see that? Should have actually done that before too. I don't know if you can see the pink, but so this is the natural, this is pink. 
here we have core white. So you see this one is more opaque. You can't really see through this one much. But, yeah, looks good. Let me turn these over so you can see the actual color as opposed to through the swatch stick. Here is the Core XXX White. This one is completely opaque. So you are not going to see anything through this. Looks good. And then lastly, we have Core Clear. So this one, it's not opaque, but it's not completely transparent. Um, I did do this on a swatch stick. So, you know, that does affect, but you know, hey, you can see through it. <laughs> see, I can still read what it says. It says Core Clear. All right. So these are the acrylics and that was everything that came in the kit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Um, please let me know in the comments which shade maybe is your favorite that you've seen. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to attempt to do a set, maybe using the forms or using the crazy nail tips that came in this kit. <laughs> so let me know. Please continue to like the video. Don't forget to sub. And also, don't forget, this one's most important, y'all, okay? Don't forget. I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share the video. Um, we actually have a brand new Facebook group that we have created for the Berry Q Nails fam. Uh, you can find that info uh, on my Facebook, same name, Berry Q Nails. If you have questions or anything, of course, feel free to reach out to me in the comment section. I do my best to try and get back as soon as I can. So thank you so much for being here. I love y'all so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah.